Betsy is with us in Asheville, North Carolina. Hi, Betsy. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, thanks so much for taking my call, and I'm absolutely going to get a gazelle card. Well, thank Woo. you. Woo -woo -woo. I love it. <laughs> How can we help today? Yeah. Um, I, you, you've changed my life, um, but I think it might be too late for me, and I needed to kind of tell you that um, I, I've been – more fortunate than a lot of people. I've blown through many thousands of dollars. I've had big chunks of money from various things, uh, inheritances, whatever. Um, and basically, I um, am 66 years old. I sold my business four years ago for $200,000. And I sold a house. I'm now renting very cheaply. And um, I have uh, about $200,000 still. And I'm living on six to seven hundred dollars a month because i live very cheaply but i wanted to give you the numbers and, and have you laugh at me and say no you're not going to make it <laughs> because my core values are freedom and independence and it petrifies me to think um that i won't have financial you know stability and i'm unable to work because of a neurological condition where i can't be upright very often so should i just give you the numbers yeah that's fine sure Okay. I invested $100,000 a year ago in a local um, commercial lender. Um, they do alternative lender, lending to, to people that don't go through traditional banks, and that's a that's a guaranteed 8% a year. So that $100,000 has turned into $108,000. I put $45,000 into Vanguard last year when I first found you guys, and it's down to $38,000. Um, of course, I'm not selling it, but um, that hurts. It's basically a wash on what I made from the other investment. Um, I have I, my IRAs are about seventeen thousand, and my cash is about eight, about nineteen thousand. Mm -hmm. So somewhere between, I don't, I, I don't know the add up of that, but I go through my expenses and my budget every month, and I say, okay, six hundred dollars a month divided by or a hundred, let's see, eighteen thousand dollars divided by $600 a month. Oh, good. I can live 24 more months on that before I have to tap into my investments. But am I, am I just um, living a pipe dream? Am I going to be a, if I can really stick to a budget? Um, Are you not collecting social well, security? It, oh, that, I don't even include that because that actually pays my rent. It's a wash. I get $1,000, I pay $1,000. So basically, I spend $600 out of my savings a month, six to seven out of savings. I see. Okay. And my Social Security will be going up, of course, but, um, mm -hmm. you know. And, and you're making 8000 on one investment, and the other investment, because the market's <laughs> down, is down right now. Yes. Okay. And tell me again what yeah. you put in Vanguard again. I put forty five thousand in. I put fifteen thousand in the. Uh, what's the one that you have a minimum of fifteen thousand, like the silver or the? Yeah, I've okay. got some word for it. Is in that and thirty thousand. So you only have a hundred and fifty thousand. I thought you told me you had two hundred thousand. Um, no, I have almost two hundred. I have a hundred and eight mm -hmm. plus the original forty five. Right. Let's just call it that. Yeah. And then in my in my savings, I've got nineteen. Oh, I see. And for, in my your IRA, fund. Yeah. for your emergency fund. For your emergency fund. Yeah, and my IRAs, I've got seventeen hundred. Okay. I mean seventeen thousand. Okay. And I'm trying to see if I can live on six to seven hundred dollars a month and stretch it out till yeah. I'm like, well, I'm sixty six. So, yeah. I mean, I don't want to get married. Did I don't you want say to be in five six or six six? You're six, six. What? I'm sixty six. Sixty six. That's what I heard the first time. Okay. I'll be six. Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. be 67 next month. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yes, you're going to make it. And no, it's not a pipe dream. And no, it's not all come to an end. Um, it's the worst possible year to have this conversation with Vanguard going the wrong direction, which is an unusual mm -hmm. thing. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. exactly what you put that in, but if you're just in a good growth stock mutual fund, it would be down this year. The market's yeah. down. Yeah. And uh, most years it's up. It's an unusually right. bad economy that we're in. And um, a lot of reasons for that, but that's not the purpose of this call. So um, Right. And I'm hoping by next year we see a turnaround. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to go early vote this afternoon just to make sure we do. But um, the, <laughs> uh, um, but anyway, the uh, – uh, <laughs> well, I'm 
Can I just insert one more thing? Sure. I come from a family of such spenders that it is, it's really hit me this month that I've still been spending too much. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm $600 down. a month is too much. No, I spent 2000 in September. Oh, so you're not sticking to your budget. So, I am now, Okay, <laughs> but right. no. Okay. That's well, I mean, whatever budget you like. set, you have to put that uh-huh. into your projections. And then if you don't stick to it, you screw up your projections. Right. So that right. that's 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 a third variable that you've added now. And yeah, I will say you got to do that, or you, whatever. I mean, because I don't care if you make fifty thousand a month and you spend sixty thousand, you still got a pipe dream, mm-hmm. right? Definitely, definitely. So um, that that's the thing. So I, I would tell you this: I want you to sit down with a Smart Vester Pro and mm-hmm. uh, stir this portfolio a little, and see if we mm-hmm. can't make it do a little better over the long haul. Okay. I don't know what okay. that it would do better on the short haul. If you had done what I told you to do, like with the money, if you'd done that two years ago, you might be worse off right now than you are right now because the market's mm-hmm. down and I, I'm 62 and um, mm-hmm. I'm a hundred, I don't, I'm a hundred percent invested in the market. I mean, in yeah. terms of, I, I didn't, didn't pulled anything out, but, um, but, but in a little different situation. So yeah, I think sitting down with Smart Vista Pro, sticking to your budget, you got, you know, then lay your projections out. But I think overall, you probably can do better than either one of these investments, but not a ton. Uh, and then the third thing I would tell you is this. I had a perfectly normal conversation here with you for three or four minutes, five minutes. So there is some things you can do. Even if it's just a few hours a day or a week? Yeah. Even if it's just uh, finding something online that you, you know, you sell stuff on eBay, whatever it is you're able to do with the limitations that you have with the, the medical process you're facing, I'm still going to find something I can do. to. Because here's the thing. If you add $1,000 a month to this by working uh, five hours a week doing something online, you know, or, or on the phone or something... Uh, you change this number. You change this situation dramatically. A thousand dollars a month changes your whole math picture with the numbers you're giving me because yeah. they're so small. And so I, I'm going to think about what you can do within the limitations. I'm not trying to say you, you you've been lazy or something. You're certainly not that, but you're very articulate, very quick, very uh, intelligent on the phone. So that that means there's things you can do. Yeah. And if this year you were able to live off 8000 you know, maybe with compound interest, next year we shoot for 9000 and then 10000 And over the next 10 years, as the money continues to grow and you continue to live on a budget, um, we can make this work. Uh, but right now, it might be tight for this year. Yeah, yeah. But overall, is, is there hope? There's hope because you're breathing and there's hope because you're paying attention. It's not too late. And if you pay attention and you keep breathing, then you're there.